Hi everyone and welcome back to another Borkino game video. Today's video is AK2, Counter Side C, a reroll guide. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Some prerequisites, you have Bluestacks already downloaded in QApp. Here's going to be an affiliate link for Bluestacks. Helps the channel if you use this link in particular. And here's going to be the QApp downloads. I'll leave links to the spreadsheets as well, which will provide you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this in case you wanna you know, slow it down. And now what you're gonna do is scroll down here and you're gonna hit search and then you're gonna type multi right there. And this is going to open up multi instance Bluestacks, all right? The reason why this is so important is because you wanna create a new instance, do fresh instance and ideally 64 bit and you pretty much hit next. And some settings that you wanna do, I usually do two cores and then two gigs of RAM. This is what's worked out for me playing Counterside on KR and pretty much go from there, okay? So I already have my Bluestacks instance manager or my Bluestacks instance already up. Here's going to be the thing where I have QApp downloaded and pretty much Counterside available to you. Now, one of the biggest things that I said is do not open Counterside when you have it up, all right? The reason why Counterside is so difficult to reroll on is because it has an ID tracking method where pretty much clearing your data or uninstalling the game will leave an ID on your Bluestacks instance, iOS device, whichever device you're using, no matter what you do, if you clear the data, it will not remove all the bits of it. So once you pretty much have the game back up, it will be pretty much that same instance. So leave it like this, do not open it and close it, okay? After you've closed it, the next thing you want to do is open up Bluestacks Instance Manager, which we have already done, and clone the instance as said here. So what's going to happen, you go to Counter Side C, that's what I labeled it as, you can change the name, call this whatever you want, and let's hit save. And then you're going to clone the instance. Here, I have the same exact settings, CPU Cores 2, RAM 2, and then you're just going to hit Create, and it's going to create a new instance right here. This is going to be the 25th instance that I've created, all right? So let's go ahead and open up a client that has pretty much downloaded counter side so you can see what's going to be looking like. You're probably going to be wondering, can I play the game right now? This is going to be a tracker on when the game is going to be releasing. I'll have links down below. You know, by the time this releases, maybe the game has already been out for a bit, all right? Go ahead and go back to the spreadsheets and now we're gonna open up counter side. All right, so the game is currently loading up. I pretty much used a guest account and some important information right here. When you go into events, you go here to special recruitment, they're actually going to be giving 160 free recruitments, all right? So every day, there's going to be a multi available for you for the next 16 days. And here's going to be an FAQ in case you have some questions like, where is this game going to be available on? What are the languages? Like for example, it's in English right now. And some requirements where it's pretty much having like two gigs of memory, like we talked about earlier, and double cores. So you can reduce the amount of cores in order to play this game but here's going to be some requirements and also the pc version is also going to be available all right so currently the game cannot be played but you can pretty much jump around the different menus and let's say you don't like this account all you do is you pretty much close it and then you delete the instance and you go pretty much all through your different instances i recommend preloading it and download the five gigs on as many accounts as you can possibly hold on your bluestacks instance manager because the download is pretty heavy and it takes a while to pretty much load the game, all right? It's going to be like the reroll process. You essentially delete instances, you open them up, you download all that you need, and you go for a reroll. Let's go ahead and talk about some characters that you can reroll for. As we said before, there's gonna be 30 beginner rerolls when you start this game. So there are gonna be some things where it's like, hey, you can get one SSR character from a reroll, and you can also get three SR characters and then three rare characters. Here's going to be the list. Kyle is the meta pick with Estherosha, Zhao, Elizabeth, Shinitsu, and Chufuyu. Note that Kyle is the one that's going to be lasting forever. Zhao is also going to be lasting quite some time as well. Estherosa and everyone else is kind of waifu, but Estherosa is going to be a good substitute for Kyle. Also, here's going to be some viable SR characters. I also think this character right here is going to be fantastic. I forget her name. And then also this defender right here in particular, she's going to be a good freebie that you can get. And here's some commons that you can also use. Note that the white box around this character, Seo Yoon, is because she is going to be a free character. So try not to reroll for her in case she pops up randomly and dupes are going to be wildly available within the game. Let's go ahead and cover it one more time. You have Bluestacks pretty much downloaded. You have QApp downloaded. You have Counterside downloaded. Your screen will be looking like something like this. Afterwards, you open Multi Instance Manager. Make sure you clone the instance and you leave that instance as the master, right? 
And then afterwards you have like the two CPU cores and then two gigs of RAM, that's going to be the requirements. And then you clone that instance and you pretty much go forward. In case you don't want a certain account, you pretty much delete it. And then you start on the next instance or you can roll all the instances at once if your PC can pretty much handle it. So one more thing that I wanted to cover is there is going to be a PC download. Once you have pretty much have like everything set, you found like the perfect account, Make sure to download the PC client and then pretty much import all of your information there or, you know, bind the account appropriately. I left this as the last step. So in case you want to continue playing on PC, maybe think about using the actual PC client versus Bluestacks because Bluestacks may have a little bit lag and this is an actual PC client that'll make your gaming experience much smoother. So that's going to be the reroll process right there. Create all the instances, delete all of them, maybe keep all of them so you can do like those 16 rolls that the game pretty much showcase. Anyways, if you made it this far in today's video, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. Once we have 20,000 subs, we're doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. Good luck on your rerolls for counter side and i will see you in the next one